of course it's 333 and i just started this video today i'm doing a get ready with me and i haven't done one of these in ages so i'm kind of excited to just talk i'm going out for a meal with my friends in about an hour and a half um a few notices yeah i got no bed sheets on my bed because they're just in the wash and yeah that is a pole as in like a pole dancing pole i wanted to put it up in my room basically it's my mom's um from like years and years ago so my mom used to do pole dancing but as you can see it's too small and i was really annoyed because i wanted to do some like some exercise on it and i just thought that would be fun but now i'm just gonna have to buy myself one so i also wanted to show you like some of the natural products that i use like on my skin and everything um so i oil my body with just like raw organic coconut oil this one is so good it's from holland and barrett it's so good for your skin as you can see i'm all shiny and, and i've also been using this on my face recently my skin's been clear for like a while now but i used to have like acne and just since like going vegan and going more natural with my skincare as you can see i have got really good skin at the moment i've broke out a bit like especially here but i just think that's down to like it's winter and you know things change and it will pass basically so i'm just trying to not stress myself out about it and just looking after my skin knowing that it will pass eventually i've started using natural deodorant so spray deodorants like aerosols and stuff are known to cause cancer um breast cancer in women and men and loads of other stuff it's just not good because obviously your armpits um have pores in them and stuff like antiperspirant like yeah it stops you from sweating but you don't want to stop yourself from sweating because then you're blocking up the pores and literally blocking up the natural flow of like what's meant to come out of your armpit so this is also from holland and barrett this is stuff that my brother got me for christmas it's like a spray and it makes me feel so fresh and good so that's what i've been using i need to pluck my eyebrows basically like they're they're not too bad but i just want to pluck them so i'm gonna do that now i'm actually gonna do that off camera and then i'll be back so it'll be easier to fill in now that they're you know not as messy i think i need to tighten this so yeah i'm just gonna use the coconut oil on my face i do this before bed and in the morning every single day and just natural stuff is better for your skin it's not like simple is better with like a lot of stuff in life you don't have to open over complicate it just go back to the basics and you know just be gentle with your skin i also recently got this jade gouache gouache gua gouache i don't know how you say that but you get the point and i haven't been using it that long so i don't know about results or anything but i just love it like i actually love using it it feels really nice it's like it's just like a self-care thing that's one thing this year i've been like trying to Im implement more of and just something little like this i don't know if i'm doing it right so give me tips if i don't know but yeah i like it i was literally deep in like i haven't done just a sit down talking to the camera type video in ages but i actually miss doing this like i feel like this is my type of thing like it's kind of fun yeah so ah. yeah these spots are really sore like I'm just, I'm just not gonna stress about it. I'm just gonna pretend like they're not there and hopefully they will pass soon. But like, yeah, they're quite sore and they also, these have come up in a place where it's like I used to get my acne, but I'm not gonna speak it into existence because my acne is not coming back, you hear me? It's not, I know it's not, so I ain't gonna let it infiltrate my reality no thank you yeah let me start by saying thank goodness for springtime coming in so it's like the 10th of february and a lot of shifts have been coming through for me recently um obviously spring's like a time for change and i have definitely felt that this past like a few couple weeks balance is what we're all constantly searching for and just like that feeling of like contentment and alignment and when you start to feel a sense of that it's more just keeps coming through to be honest so if you're struggling at any point i would just say keep faith 
in yourself more than anything like just have faith that things are always constantly changing so if you get in a point of your life where you feel stuck and you feel like the energy is quite stagnant and nothing's changing nothing's moving you just need to reignite that faith within yourself that everything's constantly moving and changing even if you can't see or feel it and that change will definitely come through to you eventually like um physically so you know just stay true to yourself and trust the process so yeah there's my little piece well that's me just getting started with, <laughs> with the talks i'm gonna get back onto youtube i'm saying back but i've never fully been here fully 100 percent because i struggle to juggle so many different social media platforms i say so many like instagram tiktok um youtube and i'm not very consistent on any of them but doing bits on all of them adds up to like a lot if it's something that you know you're going to stick with like i know i'm going to stick with this then there's no point rushing and getting stressed about like the end result like you can't focus on end result you just have to like enjoy the process like especially because i've kind of always been on social media but as i've been going through so many different like spiritual awakenings my whole concept of like the way i see the world the way the world sees me the who i want to be and who i want to present myself as has changed a lot so that's why sometimes I struggle to put myself out there like that because I'm like, none of it even matters. Like social media just isn't even real, which it's not. But then on the flip side, it's like, take advantage of like such an amazing platform where I can just be myself, make a living and spread my good vibes and knowledge that I know I have and I know the potential I have with it. Okay, I just did my eyebrows, but like, that's such a frustrating thing like i feel like you can just keep going forever trying to neaten stuff up and trying to re just just i'm just gonna stop but like i've gotten a lot better like i used to spend like an hour on my eyebrows that's just an estimate probably wasn't that long but had some bad eyebrow phases let's just say that but yeah can i just say i'm so excited for summer like summer's something that's always exciting but when spring comes around it just gets you hopeful like because the vibes start coming back like even just in springtime you can just feel the good vibes like the past few weeks it's been the transitioning phase into spring so like it's been getting a lot more sunny and just like the birds are chirping louder again and just the overall vibe really shifts a lot like if you're not that tapped in, then you won't actually know what I'm on about. But if you know, then you know. I just love the transition. I love winter. I appreciate all times of year. But summer, summer. But yeah, this summer is just gonna be different. I know this is something people can say every single summer. So we should, because we should always be, have intentions for better, betterment. Is that a word? I don't know but just upgrades like constant upgrades because summer just gone was amazing it was beautiful it was so hot like in the uk the weather literally got up to 40 degrees like in the uk like does that ever happen no um people still found a way to complain i was just like get a life because you need to learn how to transmute energy so like what i mean by that is okay it's really hot make it like a holiday then make or make it the best really burning day that you can like s like so many people did go find a lake and jump in and swim around have a barbecue have a picnic make it into what you would if you were on holiday you know what i mean for most of summer i spent time by myself and i would just go out in nature and just walk for hours and just chill sunbathe get high listen to music chill some more listen to some more music you know what i mean but I also had a lot of good memories with like family and friends like it was just a beautiful time like i'm just always so grateful for just for life life's amazing even when it's not it is i understand it takes a certain level of experience to actually get to that state of mind to like appreciate all for what it is or what it isn't type thing 
but that's what i'm constantly here to do just like just gain consciousness and just you know just continue to rise you know what i mean continue to rise in every single way because as humans we are so powerful we are very powerful beings and we can shift whatever we want to whether it's a positive to a negative a negative to a positive yeah i said that right so if you see it that way then it's like it's like the same way people who are low vibe like they can really make a really good thing really bad just from their attitude towards it and their perception and it goes the same with the other way around like you can really transmute negative into positive just by just from your mind just from the way you choose to view things so just having that optimism with life just having that like intention to see and make things better really does work and then when you open up your mind to the possibilities that's when you really start seeing your manifestations come to life because i can remember once upon a time i've always been somewhat spiritual but before i was really aware of you know like what this world is who i am i used to probably kind of block my own blessings so like it's easy to get to a state of like oh i want this like i really want this and i'd really love this to happen but it wouldn't it's not gonna happen or it's not gonna happen yet like i have to get to a certain point like when i used to imagine like myself doing amazing things or me just being a certain person i used to imagine myself like in the really far future and yeah i still sometimes do that with certain things but like you can really have a lot right now like you can be the person you want to be right now this year like well last year really taught me that like you can just create things like out of thin air it's not out of thin air but it kind of is like you can really just drag stuff into reality if you want it enough not even it's not even about wanting it it's about deserving it so you just gotta show the universe why you deserve it and that means like being yourself being a good person to everyone and just really putting out the energy you wish to receive back and when you put out that good energy you're also giving it to yourself like there's universal laws that you cannot ignore you cannot pass by you cannot work around because universal law is always in action and you can't lie to the universe with certain things so that's why it's so important to be true like that's why i always say like stay true stay true to yourself um and just do right by everyone and everything because that's how you're really blessing yourself raising your own vibration raising your own consciousness like it affects everything and everyone around you the self but like you just have to be aware that like yourself is connected to also everything else so sometimes you gotta check yourself and check if the energy you're putting out is correct because you can't be giving out bad vibes and expect anything more or less back because once again that's not how the universe works that's not how the law of polarity works yeah i'm snotty man like i got ill i got like a bad flu um but it's been like a week ago now um i was literally out for like a week um i don't really get ill i get i get like a bad flu like once or twice a year it's i always get it when it's the transitioning from hot to cold and cold to hot as in the weather like i've just noticed that's what happens with me and it was one of those as well where like um it all happened when i was meant to start a new job and obviously i couldn't go because i was so ill and it was like typical because i actually wanted to go and it's like genuinely like you physically can't which is really frustrating but everything happens for a reason and you really have to listen to your body's signals and messages and because it's always teaching you something it's always shining a light on something so it really just showed me like told me to just care for myself a lot more in like ways that maybe i haven't been as much like literally just resting like just resting my body in bed like so i just spent those days just chilling grounding outside eating good food just listening to my body and just trying to get better trying to heal myself 
um so it's nice to have that time out like you just have to see like once again transmute that energy so like yes i was ill but i still had a good time because i made it a good time i i sat outside in the sun and i just took it as a time to chill because you deserve to just chill and especially if your body's telling you to do that then listen because otherwise something worse will happen and it will just keep going so just make sure to rest um this could be advice for someone if you're ill right now this looks one side always looks more white than the other you know what i mean and i don't like that we need balance it's also weird being 18 now it is and it isn't because not much changed for me really yeah i don't drink anymore so it wasn't even like I unlocked some sort of power like it wasn't like that and also I don't go clubbing like I'm not saying I'll never go clubbing but I've had a lot of revelations about like just this whole celebrating certain dates thing like it's very superficial like a lot of people celebrate celebrate certain things and don't even ask themselves why just because everyone else does it and I just feel like we should celebrate life on a constant basis to celebrate life, not because society tells you today is this day and you should do this. Like, no. So I did what I wanted to do and I had a great day. And that's not to say you shouldn't celebrate things, but you should, but you shouldn't just celebrate because of a certain date or event. You should celebrate because you want to like have a great time and spread love to the people you love and receive that love and give people gifts and dance and scream and shout and sing and you know do all these things because we're alive and we can do all these things and also with the age thing it's like isn't the only reason you like get old because you count yourself getting old like does that make sense if you weren't aware of your age, would you ever get old? Because it's just a mindset at the end of the day. I'm not saying your body doesn't change and you grow and you evolve, but it's just the things associated with getting old. Like naturally growing up, like I remember when I was younger, I used to think like being an adult, like you, you're just boring. You just have crap to do and life just gets rubbish. But that's not the case and that doesn't have to be the case you just choose like what you want from this life <sighs> if you want to choose that you never get old then you never get old stay young forever you know what i mean i just think it's important to like slip free of just societal things that like no one questions like if you're not questioning anything and you're just blindly going along with things then what are you doing because you're not living like all of our lives should be unique and different so it's your job to make it unique and different i'm just saying that's how i see it anyway my cheeks are already like kind of flushed right now like i don't know why they're so red but i'm gonna put some like of this cream blush on anyway because i like to be rosy another thing about the summer is i love being tanned i love all my freckles coming out to say hey like in the summer freckles just appear all over my face and it's funny as well because obviously i've had freckles like pretty much all my life and i can still clock when freckles like when new freckles pop up like i promise you i'll be like okay so i love it and like in the summer they, they come through really dark and like i'll just be like <sighs> full lioness i love it I feel like more of my true self so in the winter i like to fake it jokes well not really jokes um so i put like a dark i like like blushing my cheeks like this and then i get a thin eyebrow brush put it in like this dark brown i'm giving you the the tip for the freckles and then i like plug it on my, i do some black as well just do this on my finger I literally created this myself and I'm, honestly it's the best technique I don't see anyone else doing this because when people do fake freckles they just look so fake 
not that mine are fake mine, mine are natural anyway i'm just adding to them so anyway so you just dot it around kind of thing okay we're all right for time but i should probably speed up because i just don't want to be rushing out the house yeah i'm actually excited to go out tonight um because i never i don't do this type of stuff which is good because it's not really like i wouldn't say it's not my thing but it's not my thing as in like a every weekend let's go out so that's why when i do do it it's a bit different for me and it's fun and it's nice to get dressed up because i just wear joggers every single day like I got to a point where comfort joggers were so just my comfort that I just never want to wear anything else. Like when I say that, I genuinely mean like I don't want to wear anything else because I'm just like it don't feel right. So like this is what I use to put my highlight on. So I like spray it drenched. I don't know if I missed it. And then when you like pick up the highlight, it proper gets it. yeah this has been really fun i love chatting i love chatting it just turned into a whole like advice type thing but like when i'm giving advice i don't do it in a way to be a teacher for one it's my natural instinct i'm just that guy i always have been but it's more like affirmations to self um you're constantly learning stuff um, when I talk the way I do, I'm also talking it back to myself. Obviously, it's stuff that I already know if I'm saying it, but it's important to constantly affirm things to yourself, especially high vibe things and just certain concepts. You just got to keep affirming it because then it will sink into your subconscious brain and, you know, become the reality. That's why it's important to speak positive things into a, um, existence, even if it may not be real, even though nothing's real. That's the beauty of it, because we can just make what we want. Like I said, you are the creator, you can create what you want and you can destroy what you want. So take the power and create and destroy whatever you want. Guys, I'm vlogging. I'll be speeding. Not because he was hard, not because he lived a life of crime and sat behind some bars, not because I literally forgot to get my phone out. I was like, yo, Trey, do you think you can find me the body? It's really nice in here and we just had like you're not filming this way are you no i'm filming this way um i forgot to film the food like i was too in the moment so that's good i guess we're just chilling now lauren's enjoying her expensive glass of rosé it's so nice bougie <laughs> and we've just been like abby's done her second glass of hot water so she might need to slow down sometimes <laughs> We're here just taking photos. This is for the vlog, by the way. Vlog. Oh, I love stuff. What's she doing? What's she doing?